This is how I live. I live. This is what I love. Oh. This is all the things that my dreams have been made of. Welcome to my life. This is what I love. This is what the soundtrack to my life is made of. Music love life. Crystal Jordan, be honest, and myself, Mr. Kevin. We are Music Love Life. And welcome to another episode. Why is it that Mr. Kevin comes out differently than the other two names? Because <laughs> he has more respect. There's he, more respect on his name. Ours is very legato. Crystal yeah. Jordan, be honest, and Mr. Mr. Kevin. Kevin. <laughs> he has more respect on his name. He's made it clear. He's told us that. I don't, I don't know that. I think I respect your names very much. Same as the music. You get, you get, you're first. You get top billing. Ah, uh, you're just being. Slightly, you're the star of the show. No, no, yeah, but her you name, sit in the middle. Her you're name, the darling. Her name kind of just blends into mine, and a, yeah. and a just a blah blah blah. And Mr. Kevin, <laughs> it's the puncture. It has the inflection <laughs> is on Mr. Right. Kevin. Right. <laughs> listen to it. Listen to this episode specifically when when we're done. Go back and listen to it. You definitely put a little oomph on the I Mr. Kevin. I don't even think he's doing it on purpose. He said that I feel he, like I sound like a news announcer or something. Like I think that's what you're trying to sound like. I don't know. Music, love, life. I'm good. Never mind. It doesn't matter, honestly. You know what? I should change my name. Uh, to what? I should change my name. Yeah, yeah. I think so. I should, matter of fact, I should make you call me Black Excellent. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's getting yes. worse. You're going the wrong direction, sir. I should make you call me Black We're Excellent. We're definitely not going to do people, that. Yes, people should call me Black Excellent. That's definitely not going to happen. Yes, Black Excellent. Can we make, we make Excellente? <laughs> I'll call you that. Excellente? I'll call you that. Definitely not going to mm. happen. I will call you Excellente just because that's so ridiculous. You should make people call me Black Excellent. Yes. <laughs> that doesn't even make any sense I know But why me, is that's, like a, that's like an that. object Why is it in that tense mm. that, it, it's, it's, Black excellent It <laughs> <laughs> doesn't make any sense right. I'm sorry I'm sorry listeners <laughs> I'm so sorry I'm sorry Hey guys Wow <laughs> Do you guys feel like The older you get The years keep coming faster Oh yeah absolutely yeah. Like, yeah. What is happening Past The past 15 years oof. This is a blur Worse And than I'm blur. just like Whoa this is You know that There's that little Intro of um, the Wale song with Jerry Seinfeld, where like it's like a roller coaster, and you're nope. okay. So there's this intro, and Jerry Seinfeld's talking about how you're on a roller coaster, and you're like, "Woo, this thing goes really high. It's going higher and higher." I feel like with that, with age, like it just keeps coming. It just keeps. It is kind of like you, you feel like faster. Star Wars. You what know, do you Star mean? Star Wars looks with the light noise. You know, okay, no, like yeah. light speed. That's yeah. Star Trek, though, isn't it? No. Okay. It's, I do feel like it's going at, it's just going way too fast. And as a woman, I feel very uh How is this about women? Here, how do we do this? Is it I is it a different experience like as a woman? A different, it is, yes, because the age means different things for women. But women is just such a social construct. <laughs> oh my god. Men, How dare you try to categorize your experience this is the same, these based are the off same, something that's not even real. The same two people <laughs> who have had conversations about how it's important for men to find women that are way younger than them. I didn't say that. I didn't say important. And I didn't yes, say way. Did. <laughs> Elijah Muhammad said that. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Kevin Davis didn't say much. Just, just, who are just we? repeated it. Mm-mm. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> the point is, it is very difficult for a woman to age in this culture. No, it's I say it's pretty difficult. easy. Lots of women. Age. I don't see that. I, I see. I see more glam moms every day. I mean, y'all can get fat. <laughs> <laughs> y'all can get fat and then just Here say big women are beautiful. No one's. What? First of all, how do we go from age to size? What's? Oh, I'm just saying. What's the? What's a the, lot of older women still look good. What you mean? What's I, the BBW for men? There's no. There's no title. You don't get. It's a, just called men. It's just men. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's just men. It, there's no such thing. You wouldn't have to be a BBW for right. men because men are accepted at all sizes and there you all go. shapes. Why is that? We're just better. I don't know. We're just better. No, you're not. You're not. You're not better. And women are not happy about it. But we've been forced to, you know. Be marginalized in this in this. But y'all like fat dudes. Who does? Women. This I don't. Women like fat dudes. No, they don't. <laughs> y'all like Rick Ross. Yeah, y'all, y'all like all that. Man. Well, I you don't do. know. You like where the, you like the shirt from. off. You like Biggie. Y- y'all, you like them for ages. These ain't these First ain't new all, dudes. They smell good. They dress nice. The fact that a man that may be larger sized has a sizable bank account and is able to take care of a woman does not mean, and women would opt for that, does not mean that women like fat dudes. Can we please address this? So I you're was saying, told this by a guy. He was like, 
Women first like of fat all, dudes, I, no, they don't. They just fat dudes happen to work a little harder because they usually know that they want a woman, and no one just wants to suck a man titty unless he's got money in the bank. Okay. You think that you fat, suck the man titty? I've hold on, never hold on, done excuse that. Me. You think fat dudes work harder than other dudes? I do. That's ridiculous. I think Biggie works really hard to get faith. Are you I think if he me? didn't have money, he would not have gotten her. People, I mean, we we know this. This is very yeah, we know obvious. That. Come I think on, we know stop that. that. You know that too. I thought that. You too. know I that. Thought that. You before. think fat dudes work harder than everybody else? No, I don't I think that they work harder than everybody else. I think Biggie men, had to have money to get faith. Thank you. Attractive men don't have to work as hard until they get older, and because women don't care about that. Here we go. And I know there's. So, I've had some viewers saying. <laughs> Things. You're the pits. <laughs> you're what's wrong with America. Hey. You're, you're why the millennials are, are rebelling against us. I am. I am. I was told, oh, it makes sense that you're a Libra. We listen to him all the time. You know I saying? am a Libra. Makes sense, you old head. And, and I am saying women do not prefer fat dudes. Not the majority of women. Now, there are some women out there, just like there are some men out there that like BBWs. Baby, baby. Yeah, yeah you do. I don't know that that's true. I don't know about what prefer. Are you talking about? He said prefer. I don't know about prefer, but man, I do, I had a guy tell me that's why you guys like, and I was like, I don't date fat guys. I don't. They like fat dudes, and they just call them teddy bears. Oh my god! But so why? I don't understand. If I say something about men, you guys what? immediately jump. But you just tell me constantly what women do. Women do not prefer. The, the teddy bears may have something that they like, but no one's just looking at a naked, a naked obese man and a naked in-shape man and saying, you know what? I think I'll pick that over there. I like to have to struggle to find the penis. No one says that. Struggle no to find that. the penis? What yes. have you experienced? What? I've never who, experienced that because I would never allow horror. myself to do that. That sounds terrible, Crystal. I'm just saying, but a fat guy, where do you think, where do you, where do you think the belly goes, Kevin? Where does it go? Hangs down, and then gravity pulls it. And then what? On the bed, it it hangs down. I've never had one. I, I opt. So not you to. have. So we're talking from no experience. No See, experience. See, it's not fair. Some listeners. people don't mind looking for penis. You cannot take her words because <laughs> she doesn't know. So it, <laughs> Bobbing for penis. If you are a plus size gentleman, <laughs> you may you may be fine in the downstairs department. She has no idea. I'm not saying that he may not be fine in the downstairs. I'm just saying that finding it. See, you just missing. You just missing out on a good man. I'm I'm certainly doing that. There you go. See? I'm certainly doing that. There you go. I'm certainly doing that. It's okay though. I'm okay with that. Clearly, because they, like he said, he, especially if he has a little bit more money, he can take care of you. What's wrong with that? I'm saying, but I'm just saying nobody opts for that. Nobody is like, hmm, I would like to not be able to see my partner, not be able to put my arms around my partner. I prefer that. Well, I mean, there, there's... I'm not, no, no, let me, let me just, because I know I'm going to get some view. I know, because women... Women hate women. Stand, so stand I, in your truth. Don't, I know don't. I'm, no, I'm just saying, I know there's some women that are going to be like, I like fat guys. Okay, cool. But I'm just saying, the majority of women, that's not what, that was not the appeal with Biggie. His weight was not the appeal. That's because the white media has got you just brainwashing and thinking that it's all tall, dark, and handsome. When they say dark, they tell my the dark hair. The white media has me mad, liking tall, dark, and handsome. My, I, I'm a slim fella, but I ain't mad at my big guys, man. I ain't, I ain't mad at all my linemen. What's up? <laughs> On my linebackers Did you was say popping. the white media Has us like in tall Dark and handsome No you like, Aren't you, you just The millennials don't give a fuck About none of that, that There's new rules they, they, It's I don't totally know. new rules What are they clued into I don't know <laughs> I don't YouTube either. got them Maybe it's like Maybe the YouTube ads For them are different And we just don't know that it, <laughs> Like they know how old we are So they show us something else How Change could you know Because they know gender They know Well they don't know gender Because it doesn't exist It doesn't but, exist But they, they, they've only studied <laughs> Your habits for the last 10 years Like yeah, they, they know what, what you like. What if they're giving them different? I just I think I just dropped a bombshell, man. They're gonna come get us, or me. Don't get mm. me. <laughs> Don't get me. Mm. Seriously though, what if they're showing them something different? Honestly, you would never know. And we had watched the same video. Our That's ad true. would be something for like uh, workout equipment, some old people <laughs> shit. And their and their their ad is like, you know, look into this light, woo, and like you know what I'm saying, and some <laughs> other shit happens. Y'all, I mean, seriously though, I you know what? Can, I I was thinking something the other day. This I got it freaked me out. You know how you say something on your phone and then everything pops up, right. you know, to to go along with that. I was literally thinking something, and I went to Google and I put like the first word, and the whole thing came out exactly as I was like, I I don't know what's happening. Yeah, I think it's it's even. I think they've tapped into. Into our they know what you're gonna think. They predict what you're gonna think. Yeah, like this because mm -hmm. of because of her patterns yesterday. This is probably where she's going today. We've been expecting you, Crystal. We've been expecting you. It's, it's a horrible feeling. But what can you do? 
Who knew all those Facebook games that were like, hey, uh, what what do you do you want to know your future? Who are you gonna marry? You put your, you know, you put yes. Next thing you know, it, it computes out something and they I have knew. Your- I played none of those games. I played Damn, none of fa- I played those I did games. no face swaps. I didn't know hey, I didn't do face swaps. How you look as a girl, the, as an old which, person, as a which dog. Disney fairy tale princess mm-hmm. are you? Nope. So what do you think? They ain't gonna get you now? Is nope. that what you I mean, think? I'm, they got you. They'll get me later. You think, oh, the, ooh, I'm in the clear. No, I'm gonna get they'll get I'm me later. Safe. I'm gonna see all you guys get, you know, we're gonna go down first. Put into the van. Right. Y'all are gonna go <laughs> Scott taped up in the van or whatever. Duck taped in the van. And they're not they're just gonna drive right by here. He's not on the you, list. You actually work with the man. What do you mean? Everybody works with the man. No, 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 my friend. Who doesn't work with the man? You no, no. He actually he actually We're does all partly the, funded he, by dark forces. He does the work. You do the bidding. No. Yes, you <laughs> like, no. no. <laughs> you do their bidding. No way. You do. No way. Please, <laughs> no way. Please, pish posh. Mm, but that's where I'm gonna watch y'all get in the van, regardless. I mean, <laughs> probably, probably I'll be because you overseer. work with them, right? <laughs> I mean, overseer when you guys. Well, get you've already been an overseer because you're the light skinned one. So, you're boy, this show is be. rife. Crystal is on a roll there. It's rife with gender issues, uh, racial inequality. Yeah, like it's just awful. That's cool though. <sighs> I'm glad it's not me this week. Well, who would be the overseer in here? Obviously, the two of us have been in the sun. <laughs> you, you have the white man's blood, so you would be the overseer. I have the white man's blood. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. This, I, this this must be just from old friendship gone awry. Uh-uh. Like, that must nope. be... The jail here has to be, like... There's no one you can say things like that to besides someone you've known for a really long time. I want to watch. I want the. If you've never commented on one of our shows, <laughs> go to YouTube and comment on this this time. You did basically call him the house negro. <laughs> I thought we've called him that the whole time. Yeah, 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 yeah. pretty much. So it's fine. I mean, I don't think Com- this was below. new. How many? How often has you have you made a beige joke? I thought that's what we were going with that. Yeah, this is true. Okay. He, he's not on. He's not on. You got, y'all got to have that meeting off air. You can't do that when we get on here. Y'all got to talk earlier. But we already. I mean, it's just un. Unex- it's, it's already. Exposed. I mean, it's already, Com- it's, it's understood. Comment below. Mm-hmm. <laughs> are, are you are you reaching out to your mulatto? You would have me? access to the keys for I would. I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah. That's fine. I'm not gonna let you out either. Just so <laughs> you know. <laughs> what, hey, you know there will be no escape. <laughs> I'm gonna be staring the shit out of you. Dude. Get comfortable <laughs> from behind. Get comfortable. Oh my like, god, it's gonna be a while. <laughs> <laughs> it's got to be a real big opening See, Let me let y'all go That's so fucked up man <laughs> We're oh, all doing Yep See I knew you'd do the devil's bidding uh-huh. All that don't believe in God mess uh-huh. <laughs> It's all where it started The seeds I knew it yeah, The seeds I was, were planted I was having, Backslider I, w- <laughs> <laughs> I was having a conversation With one of my girlfriends Because there's I know you guys don't know anything about this So I'm just going to catch you up to speed There's been a whole drama Going on around basketball wives Right you may have heard about it. There's more social. drama than on the show? Well, it's particularly more drama this season because... Um, is it, is, did Jackie do something again? No, is that Evelyn what is? Lozada, who is Puerto Rican, has made some comments about a young lady named OG that is very dark-skinned, right? I think she called her unattractive because she's like a monkey. Is her name OG or is it O space G? Like two it's letters. O and then a G. <laughs> I'm sure it's short for something else. Yeah, yeah she's, so, right. she's original Nigerian, gangster. So, yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, so so this so this so what happened is there's I believe and I'm saying this out loud, there is a um, culture of mean girls on most of these reality shows, right? Mm-hmm. So Evelyn has been in fights before. She's she's always been the pretty girl that is mean towards others and everybody kind of kisses her behind, which I think is the political makeup of most mean girl cliques. There's one girl that everybody's vying to get her approval because she's like the prettiest girl or she's deemed herself the pretty girl and she's hateful and mean towards other people that aren't, don't have as much money as her or much, or, or um, as much beauty, you know, and, and usually those two somehow seem to somehow find each other and go hand in hand. So this young lady, OG, made a statement that Chad Ochocinco, who Evelyn was engaged to at one point in time, um, had tried to talk to her. And Evelyn was like aghast. Like nobody that I ever, you know, no ball player that I've slept with would ever want to be with this young lady because she's not attractive, at least in Evelyn's eyes. They go back and forth, fuss, fuss, fuss. So Evelyn comes up with the text messages that Chad has. He's removed all his responses and makes it look like this OG girl is stalking him, right? 
OG comes up with the actual text messages to her phone showing that Chad had actually been trying to sleep with her, had been trying to deal with her actually while he and Evelyn were together. Not just in the past, but during the time they were together. Sweet. So it it was, <laughs> and it basically Twitter smoking gun the smoking gun and and text. I don't know why people don't realize text messages. You can screenshot them and keep them forever. They never die. So this came out. Evelyn was embarrassed. Black Twitter turned on her, you know, uh, and basically has called her. You know, has called her a mean girl. I think I was talking to one of my girlfriends last night, and I think that this is like a bigger. There's like a pink elephant, well, a black elephant maybe in the room. We still have a lot of colorism issues, and I think that women in that particular circle, and especially on reality TV, that type of behavior is praised, right? And I think men get caught into it because a girl like Evelyn is assuming no guy would, you know, if a guy's with her, he's he's blessed to be with her and he should be grateful. But really, the guy is just trying to hit as much as possible, right? And he doesn't have the same color constructs or ideas of beauty that women seem to think. However, I wonder, you know the girl that we're talking about, right? Yeah, I'm familiar with if it. If Ocho Cinco would have made her his girl in public, because the girl suggests that Ocho Cinco did not want a non-African American girl, but it seemed like he was really happy to be in public with Evelyn. Do you think that men still have issues with colorism to where they may not, they may have one woman that they want to be with in public and another woman that they want to be with in private? Um, I don't think that it's necessarily an issue of colorism. I just think that uh, Ocho Cinco was trying to get some head from a duck. Um, from a duck? Yeah. Okay. Why is she a duck? Yeah, she's she's unattractive. She's unattractive in the face, and it's not because <laughs> it's not because she's dark skinned It's because she's unattractive. Is it because she has features that are more likened to you? No, nope, just ancestor? ugly. See, we had the, we've had this argument before about that mm-hmm. dark skinned model. Remember that when you had your offices over there by um. Uh, Howell Mill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There are dark skinned women that are abundantly beautiful. And, but okay, are you guys? But she is denying, not one of them. But are we denying that there has been that has been an issue in the past? Colorism has been an issue. I am. It, it could you, be for some people. It it, it could at, be. Can I don't, you acknowledge that? I don't for think that African, Ocho Cinco was one of those guys. Okay, we don't know. We don't know. We could don't be. know. <laughs> she said we, we don't, don't know. We don't know. But I mean, with the, I I have a whole I, and I should have brought my list. I have a list of hip hop record, hip hop songs, and lyrics. That praise light skin over dark skin. I mean, that's that's that's, that's fine. That's, I think that's great evidence, and and I think that there there is something to the good and bad hair, the dark and the fair uh, war. But I am not going to participate in dividing black people. We come in all shades, but right? we already we have come been in divided. All colors. Huh? We've already been divided. Not to, not in here. Not today. That we stops right is. now. This is. Wait I told you, you, you would call me black excellent. You this just is... divided my, me from y'all. No, I didn't. That was not even a segment ago. <laughs> she said that. <laughs> that was not even a segment he ago. He deflects faster than any. You <laughs> she are said a that. turncoat, sir. You, sir, are a turncoat. What? What? You agree with me. You've called him beige from the beginning of time. I, th- that doesn't mean that he <laughs> isn't on our side. <laughs> wow. My point is... He I just think- said that I was going to... In prison, you guys. You are. You gonna be. You wait you a minute. Pass, now. You can't you, keep you switching. Do, no, switching we know really who, quickly. No, we know who passes the paper bag test and who doesn't. But that doesn't mean that this is not my brother. He just happens to be. But if my don't let me have a set of on the other in my side. Hand. If my sister assumes that I could never get a man that she could get, hey man, that look. may be a problem. Hey, look, this nigga got the keys, though. <laughs> but look, though, okay, so... We got to be nice to this nigga. <laughs> a wink, wink. Can, are you sure? Because I didn't see this. Are yeah. you sure that she's saying the reason why is because she's light-skinned and not because she's prettier? I think that she's saying it because she's prettier, she's richer, she's all these other things. But those all those things matter. But I think that there, I believe that there is an issue in our in our community that dark is being seen as bad and light is being seen as good. And I think that that, now I'm not, I think that people also look at those two terms and they're like, oh, well, I don't think that a person is less attractive because they're dark skinned. But I think that that there are some very subtle, we, we've been, you, you wouldn't even know if that's why you prefer that or not. You ever seen somebody that's medium ugly? Lots of people are medium ugly. Mm-hmm. Like well no I, I don't say me I don't say medium I say regular cute. <laughs> I look the same at same thing. Glass like half full. Huh? Right, you got you got like bare minimum. No, but yeah, not not bare minimum. I feel like there are people who are just not you know just average outstandingly something about them, but they're they're 
pretty regular, but they're Just average people. They have like a, a couple of things that are nice. You know what I'm saying? So I say mm-hmm. they're like regular cute, which usually are better people. Yeah, and, and I agree. But in, in the case of OG, I feel like she has she has a, a an un. Attractive face and a dark spirit, and I think she it's come out. Think I think that, she has that, a dark spirit, and it comes out in some of the some of the things that she's so done. So I'm not a fan have of her. A dark spirit, in even fairness, though she's run over maybe the I'm table. the wrong person to ask because I don't. But I'm just saying that uh, Evelyn has run over the table to fight people. She's she's she has. She, and does she not have she, a dark spirit? She, I, I think at one point or, or whatever, she's. You? I think she's definitely been very angry. I don't. I don't but approve of her spirit. behavior at all. But not a dark spirit. I just think that I think that men can't consciously make that decision, make that statement because you are just pre-designed to always to, to always feel. Each more. person has their own demons. Well, let me ask you a question. But if she ha- if she's being just as messy, if not more, because that's been why the they sh- on the show. She been this ain't her first. But season. why are we saying that OG has a dark spirit and she if Evelyn has an equally dark spirit? I'm saying that because she's attractive in our standards, people automatically are going to. Treat her better okay. than they would a person. Fair that enough, was not but like let me that. ask you a question: Are taller guys more attractive than shorter guys? To me, period. I mean, who cares? I'm talking to you. Oh. We covered fat guys. I think, I, in my opinion, yes. Okay, so if it's possible that taller guys are shorter than short, I mean, taller guys are more attractive than shorter guys. It's also possible that lighter skinned women are more attractive than darker skinned women. It can be a thing. I think that's horrible. I think it's horrible. You think tall guys are more attractive than short guys. <laughs> that's fair. I've seen some women that's honestly not attractive, but they happen to be light skinned, so they kind of get it pushes them over. They kind, they kind, yeah, they so kind of. So basically, slide music love life is suggesting that light skin just is better than dark and skin, and tall is no, better than short. That. <laughs> you are saying that. I'm not saying that. He's saying it obviously. <laughs> no, you're, I. You're, no, I'm a, I'm a fan of black women. I like I, I, I like, have I have a black. You cannot woman. say I'm you're sorry. a fan of black women and say that it may just be true that light skin well, is pretty. No, than dark I just have skin. a dark skinned woman that's cute. Overall is what I'm saying. You're saying overall tall. Oh my god! You're saying tall you guys say overall. That. Why not? You're saying tall guys overall are shorter than. I mean, are better, are more attractive than short guys. Overall, I'm saying there tall may be a short guy. That, there may be a short guy that's like me. That's like you know. Hey, there's a lot of short guys that are attractive. There, are, I'm not saying that they have. More attractive faces That's the difference I can look at them and say Doesn't matter what detail You pull out of this shit To make it seem then, like it's okay And then when ugly people Try to act cute mm. What? You're doing too much Yeah you really just doing too much Just understand darling You're just a dark skinned sister You cannot exactly. be Exactly Both me and now. Both Kevin oh and I God. Both chose brown women Yes So I don't understand Why you're mad at us We both no, I'm chose not mad at you. I'm just asking you guys Can you acknowledge That this could be a thing And what I'm saying is, Can you acknowledge That light skinned women Might just be more attractive Than dark skinned women I cannot gener- But you can't accept That tall guys Are more attractive Than short guys That's I- just odd That you can do one But not the other I thought black people Were in a monolith They can do both things it can be- Two <laughs> things can be true Isn't that what y'all Always say on Twitter And Instagram Ain't that the black mantra? Two things can be true. First of all, he can be a drug dealer and smart. <laughs> <laughs> that part is very true. So is you can be light skinned and more attractive, and it could be the thing. It could be the thing. I don't, well, I don't so. know, but tall is got it. Tall is good. Light skinned bad. I got it. No, I'm not saying. I'm not saying that. I'm saying there's tall, ugly people, yes, and they're light skinned ugly people. There but are. just the majority of them, to Crystal, are. Attractive mm-hmm. because huh? they're tall. No, no, that's not what I said. You said that tall guys are more attractive. Generally, said, in do general. Do we just expect them to I be said, more? I'm, no, attractive. I don't think they're more attractive. I'm more attracted to them. Oh, that's, that's semantics, this thing, right? It's not semantic because I'm saying you could be, it could be a guy who is medium cute, two medium cute guys. This is not where I was going with this, but there could be two medium cute guys. If one is medium cute as six foot one mm-hmm. and the other one is medium cute as five foot six, okay. the six foot one guy is going to seem more attractive to me. And there can That's be two, just to me. And there can be two medium cute women. One of them is black as night and the other one is, is light as right. And you're going to pick the light skin one. That's just the way I'm it not. is. No, but in I'm general, in general, would. because in general, it's possible for light skinned women to be more attractive than dark skinned women. It's possible, just like it's possible. Or not even possible. It's a reality that tall for me, men. You keep not saying for, everybody, for me because I think that's very important to acknowledge. What, that's a no, personal no, preference. No, what if it just overall tall guys are more attractive than short? What if it's just overall that's more attractive? Why can't it be because you're dark skin? You're mad about it. I mean, it's okay. Be mad, but it, what if it's true? Then what? I, I just I, I take mean, that. Take that. 
<laughs> if there were other people involved oh in that God, controversy, I, I may I have a different statement. I wish we never even opened this up. <laughs> you opened this up. If there were I know, different I wish people I involved, then I may have a different statement. But between Evelyn and OG, right? This is a this was uh, these two people. OG I don't even know who OG is, is. Unattractive and but you just said she had a dark spirit and, and, and she's unattractive. She you said unattractive some first. Of the, some but, of the but things Evelyn, that she's done on the show, I, I feel like are below the things Also. Huh? Evelyn has done horrible things. Also, she she's has. been a bully for years. She has, but she, but her spirit is not dark. It's beautiful because she's. He didn't like, say I didn't that. say it was beautiful either. Was beautiful. You just. But I'm just saying. Do you understand? I'm I'm focusing on the fact of dark spirit, and we've re, we we've, we've reserved those words for someone who is dark skinned and unattractive. <laughs> where someone who is light skin, light skin and, and, and evil, and still evil. We're not calling hers a dark spirit. I don't know these That's women. A so. Is it a problem? But see, is it a problem? I think it is a problem. You, so, so you feel more comfortable if I said that Evelyn had a dark spirit? Yes. Evelyn has a dark spirit. And yet he would still choose her because she's more attractive. M more attractive people have more leeway to have other things. That's there. true. That's Whether you're dark true. skin or light skin, though. That's true. I agree with that. I agree with that wholeheartedly. Tall guys have more leeway yes. than short guys do, right? I agree. I don't understand why you can accept it so wholeheartedly with the tall guy, short guy thing. But if I if I just change the details. I just think that tall and, and skin color are two different things. How could you possibly? They're just attributes. How could you possibly think they're different? They just are. Because we put more weight on that as people, that's all just social constructs. It is social constructs, but it's also mm. intraracial issues that that I don't think we are acknowledging. They're what? It's intra intraracial issues that divide us. Man, it could so ego. It's ego then is what we're talking about. No, it's not ego. It's that's not totally ego that's totally ego. That's not that's not ego. You don't think that if 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 African Americans have color are, have issues with colorism that that's that's ego. It's definitely ego because unless unless you've what? been a short a shorter guy, you have no idea what life is like for a person who's shorter. And always has heard their I'm a short stop person. it for a second for their entire life that you're not going to be selected because taller is better. The every day of your life, are you kidding? That's just you not being in touch with reality of anybody else but yourself. But I but no no no, I am. There are things that all of us have that are different than exactly. other people. So I'm saying every and. I'm saying for African American, it's not even just for African Americans. It's for cultures all across the world. Right, lighter skin is considered better. What if it's better? What if taller is better? <laughs> I, can't. I don't understand what the problem with this is. Is it is it so awful for you to say, you know what? I'm not first. I'm second. What's wrong with being second? Sometimes people just cannot deal with the fact that they may just be second. There are no trophies for everyone. Somebody gets there a trophy, no trophy, somebody has to go home sad. That's just the way it is. Life is so unfair in so many ways. But here we go with this again and again and again. Oh, what if it's just better? That's all I'm saying. You have already accepted that tall is better. Well, well and because I have, hold on a second. And I have to accept have that accepted as well. It's better for me. I don't. And think I have that to, and when I'm dealing with you, I have to accept that that's that it's better. Also, you see what I'm saying? Well, better is also subjective. It and, is. I, and I think that like like ranking the ranking of people, saying that someone is second is what is offensive uh, or divisive to people. Instead, if we just focus on the fact that people have their own differences, right. and you may be better at some things than more than I am, right? right? Like right. I might be good at. Basketball, but I suck at baseball. Or you might be good at picking apples off the top of the tree. I got to get the ones from the small, the bottom of the side right. of the tree. Someone or some are better suit for certain jobs, certain tasks, whatever it may be. I have right? no problem with that, Kevin. But the problem is, is that but I have that no allows problem us with that. to embrace our differences and right. still see value in each other, as opposed to saying I'm the shit and you're not. But that's not what women say when they're picking a man. They say they want a tall man, six one, six two, uh, chiseled chest, uh, this much money. They you sound know, like that. They sound just like that. <laughs> and it's okay when they say that As long as they don't put color into it It's okay They can say the most outlandish shit About the attributes of a guy As long as And it can be heavily offensive To the person who doesn't have what they're saying As long as they don't say color Which is what guys say Guys don't even have a lot of shit I just want a girl to be fine Light skin with long hair That's only three things They got a list for days And they get caught on the light skin thing Even though they just told dudes Incredible atrocities About who they are as a man They've pulled them down to the ground with what they don't have that the other guy has. Let somebody say light skin, these motherfuckers go crazy. That's wild to me. That's wild to me. And I think it's no different. I, you know what? I can admit, I can admit that I've never looked at it from though from that perspective. But I do think that as a female and a male, there are things, period. If you were regardless of race, culture, age, whatever, there are things that that you know that you deal with that may not be what the standard of beauty or acceptance is, right? We all have that. I am not 
thin and tall. I knew that growing up, well, sh- this is the this is the hand I've been dealt with. I'm also brown skin, so that's the hand I've been dealt with. There all there there were always a lot of African American men that preferred lighter skinned women, that preferred taller women, that preferred thinner women, that preferred women that had features that looked more cute, like all of that stuff that you have to deal with and everybody has to be okay with it. My problem is is simply And I'm acknowledging that I haven't looked at it from a guy standpoint because that has not been my reality, right? But I do think that this goes across the board. So I have guy friends that were dark skinned that got picked on that said, I don't ever want to be with a dark woman because I don't want a child that looks like me. That's a problem to me. You know, maybe too short people. I would not have dated a guy that was 5'5 because I would not have wanted short children. Maybe that's a problem also. You know what I mean? (laughs) I'm acknowledging that. I'm acknowledging that. And I had not thought of it from that way. So your your soulmate could be short and fat. It seems like it probably is. (laughs) Seems like at this point... (sighs) Probably is. Start looking at short fat dudes. They're right. They're probably smiling at you, mm-hmm. like walking by you in the crowd, smiling at you, and you just like welcome back. Completely, <laughs> just completely missing them. You just hey. ran up, and, and you're, now you're back. You're still single, ma'am. Got a fresh line. It smell good. <laughs> is is Gary V winner? Yep. It is. It is. It is. I don't know. I'm, I'm sure people are gonna be really upset with things I've said, but I don't. I don't care. I, I mean, it's I, real. I, it's I, real. I think it is real, and I do. I do appreciate and acknowledge the fact that. We struggle and and often are hurt by our own biases against us. And maybe we are insensitive to biases that we have towards other people. And I I acknowledge that. I I definitely feel like that. Um, Because I have felt a lot lot of them towards me, I feel. And I think it's hard sometimes when you're so busy licking your own wounds to to be aware of the fact that you may be doing the same thing to somebody else. That was my whole issue. I'm going to segue out of that. But my whole issue, I, there was a lot of talk about that Joker movie. And there was conversations with people that, just basically talking about people that may be awkward, that may not fit in society, and may feel that they they are discriminated against by the majority, right? I don't think that I'm discriminated against by the majority. I do think I have a lot of characteristics that are discriminated against by a population, but I don't know if it's, I don't, I never felt like the whole world discriminated against me. Where I, in the movie, the character that turns into Joker feels that way. And there are people that feel that way. Maybe we just all need to have a lot more empathy towards others. Mm. I don't know if we need to find it on this show, but I think that's what I just learned is that you just have to be more empathetic across the board towards other people. That was so Give well me some said. type of what you want? shrine so well or some said. type of, yes. or I don't know, hand clap or something. So the world <sighs> needs more love. I, no, I've been, you know what? I'm inspired by you. Oh. I agree with you wholeheartedly. Yes. Oh, wow. Joker movie was pretty good too, mm-hmm. by the way. I'm not going to see it. I haven't seen it yet. I'm not going to see Why? it. Because I I'm feel like it, it is, I feel like the movie, I read the leak and I read a lot of articles about it, but I read the leak that basically gives you the script, right? Mm-hmm. I feel like the movie... And the visuals that are shocking are going to trigger in a lot of those people that may feel that way to respond in a way that's very negative. Possibly. I thought it was, I thought the plot was kind of meh, but there was the visual, it was, I will, it will win some type of visual award. Yeah, it will. And Joaquin Phoenix is going to win some type of. He is. He absolutely is. He absolutely is. I just hate that there are so many things that play on, especially when you're talking about mental illness. Um, people's inability to cope with their reality, you know? No, I just what do you mean? I think that if you feel that way, if you feel hopeless and dejected, and then you go see something, you connect with that, and it's it's just, it's not positive. It's, it's negative. I, I just, I don't want to support it because of that. Well, you know what? I think that, um, I think that what it is kind of teaching us is it, it, it like it wanted to humanize the Joker, and and we've had a lot of mass shootings, and we don't understand why these people would snap. And it occurs to me that these people are are not crazy; they're sad, mm-hmm. they're angry, and that the weight of that can make someone quote unquote yeah. snap right but that's in, in a way this person is trying to deal with their pain uh now what caused that pain you know that's going to vary 
We've all got, I know I've definitely, especially as a young black male in America, yeah, I felt like there are those that are out to get me. Somebody on the other side of town wakes up and they're planning out, we're going to bomb this church, we're going to shoot up this school, we're going to kill those niggers, we're going to kill those, well, whoever, right? And that is a, a scary thought. That's a scary feeling. And it's it's a lot of what is in America today. And I think we're trying to figure out, um, in, in a way, it is our identity crisis. But, um, yeah, man, we got a lot of work to do to figure it out because shit. And you feel like the Joker plays negatively against that? No, I think he's he's hu- humanizing the the mental illness. Kind of right. like like we still love like we a lot of people say that Kanye has his mental illness, but he says um, it. we humanize. We we try to humanize. You try to understand because it's it's one thing to humanize it. It's nothing to glorify it. And I think that's my problem. I think that because it is a superhero movie, even though he's the villain, um, a lot of the critics that read it said so when you watch wrote that when you watch it, you kind of, a lot of people are going to see him as a vigilante hero because all this bad stuff, horrific, was done to him. And then he fought back and did these unspeakable things, but it, it's explained in what led him to that. Right, right. But in, isn't that kind of the reality of superhero movies, though, now? Like, when we were kids, they played that good guy, bad guy, white hat, black hat shit. But yeah. as an adult, you start realizing there are no good bad guys and bad guys. Right. Everybody's good. Everybody's a little good and everybody's a little bad. Right. And everybody, you know what I'm saying? Now, there are some that are a little more bad than good or a little more good than bad. But for the most part, your hero has also done some has crazy some shit. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. some faults. And there's, there's, a, there's a show on um, on Amazon Prime called The Boys. Have you heard of that? I've heard of it. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, um, Laz Alonzo, yes. I don't even know what that is. But the, in the show, the idea of it, the concept... Light-skinned man. Is he light-skinned? Oh, stop it. Mm. He's just a good-looking man. Uh-oh. He's a good-looking mm-hmm. light-skinned guy. Uh-oh. Yellow boy. <laughs> yeah, so anyway, the, the premise though, from what I understand, I've only watched the first few minutes of the first episode, mm-hmm. but I have friends that I've recommended it to that like comic books and that said it's, it's pretty good. Mm-hmm. But the premise is, what are the, what are the, the superheroes do in their downtime, kind of like? Right. You know, they're not always superheroes. What's going on in their life? And some of the shit is depraved, some of it's crazy, some of it's mm-hmm. perverted. It's just, it's everything. You know, yeah, it's there's not superheroes like just at work. Sitting there watching the game, waiting on. Somebody was Crime somebody happened. filed an insurance policy claim against the superhero because there was a wrongful death. You know what I'm saying? Like it's that kind of shit. So it's like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You cannot be superhero. All day receivables. Long. <laughs> right. And but that's that's reality though. Reality right. is that the Joker is not all bad, and probably there are a lot of people who can relate to the Joker. There are a lot of people that can relate to. Her. I, I read about. I think I told you guys about that. I read about the inc- incels, the people that are involuntary, involuntary celibate, uh, celibate. And I didn't realize that was a whole group of people of men right. who feel like women like twenty percent of men, and the rest of the eighty percent are un. I would love to see what those real statistics are because that seems unreasonable. But that's their theory is that women only like the top twenty percent of men. I guess the tall, dark, muscular, handsome ones, and then the, there's eighty percent of the rest of the people that don't have women. So they're very. They believe that it's okay to rape uh, some of them, not all of them. Kudos if there's any incels watching us. We love you. I love you. I don't. In- what? No, but I think they're just sad. I don't even know what it is. I it's honestly don't know enough about it. It's a man that can't get a woman. It's a man that can't get a woman that doesn't feel... he. It's probably because he's social... Because there are a lot of ugly, broke men that have women. So this is a man who is socially awkward, maybe because of his mental illness or something, who cannot get a man and he's angry at women because of it. Oh, so the they shooter in Santa Barbara... As- the one of those shooters in in California, mm-hmm. they were call, he was calling himself an incel, but he yeah. was a, he was like an okay looking guy from what I remember. But if you're socially, it's a, it's 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 mentally like so right. there could be a social awkwardness. He mentioned that a girl dissed him at college one day, and you know she didn't even recognize him, doesn't even appreciate yeah. who he is or whatever. Yeah. But there's also another movement, M G T O W, men oh M, M men that go the other way. Mm. What? They go the it's other not, way from it's women? Not, it's not a gay thing, a, a, away from women. So they're like, they're, the women are just for sex. Yeah. That's all that they're for. Well, those men believe that they Look should- Look at Kevin's that they, face. That they <laughs> should rape women. Go the other way. <laughs> are you funny? And imagine that. Right. Uh, I, didn't, I didn't realize it. I did not realize until I started reading, and, and because of the movie, that there were men that were out there that felt that way. Men are fed up with y'all. And Bullshit. They're, and they're, but there are women that feel like- you know, they feel the same way that and they man, don't get a man. Y'all become but, you know men what, but you know what, though, <laughs> in, in light of the uh, the Amber Geiger situation, man, because a lot of people talked about uh, that 
the two of them had had a, a relationship, and 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 clearly she's a white woman, so she's got a little a, a certain amount of privilege. Not to mention that she was copping and and, and being a, a, so a crazy murderer. Well, no, I said she, she a is cop. a cop, okay, and she's received a lot of preference um, because of her profession mm-hmm. and her complexion. Mm-hmm. Um, where she's uh, even as a a, a crazy love struck murderer, which, which is I, I, what I really think is closer to the truth. Mm-hmm. Um, she has received a lot of empathy and and for for no cause of its own. Hey, like, hey, what yeah. does that mean? No cause of its own. Well, it's unwarranted. Like, why would the, why would the to get judge... empathy? You just said people should get more empathy. I did, but I also. For a judge to hug a, def- a defendant that is proven guilty in court uh-huh. is a little strange. So, if your cousin killed someone, you're going to get no more hugs? I'm not. A judge is not the cousin of the of the. Of you don't the know that they know each other. Are. They both work for the same place. They're both cop, lawyer. They, they've had probably history. You don't know anything about these people. I don't, but, but yeah, her, they got his, some history, his family... His family hugged her as well. Okay, I'm not saying that that's that that is bad, but what I am saying is that that same that same energy has has very seldom been reciprocated on the other side. What does that mean? I'm still any. I bet if the situation was re, was reversed and a black man shot a white woman, I doubt he'd be under the jail. That the judge would be hugging him afterwards. I think I can say that in in with all assurance. You couldn't you couldn't because you never could have said this would happen. Um, I do think that white women are not looked at as a white woman that's on trial for murdering a black man. They're going to be trying to figure out what happened to drive her to this. Are you kidding? Casey Anthony didn't get, are you kidding? They were like, they were trying to punish her. They were trying to figure out how can we get this bitch? That's what the entire court case was. That was a, that's a different situation. If it's just a regular white woman shoots a black man, you don't think, you don't think that the, that the narrative is going to be different. I don't, but I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I don't get sold those that propaganda. I don't see it the way that you guys see right. it. I don't. I don't see well, that this in situation. Any case, what happened afterwards? The one of the the only um, witness that 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 I guess lived next door. He testified that the young man testified that um, he did not hear her scream like she cl- she claimed she did, and he was gunned down the day after the 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 trial. The trial. Uh, the jury came back with the verdict. And then there's another young lady, I just sent you guys the link, that uh, filmed everything, and she's been fired unsuspect, un, for, for, without what did she film? her job. Um, she filmed the, I guess, the shooting. So um, the guy, of, And didn't the guy that filmed Eric Gardner, didn't he get uh, locked up as well? Yeah, he did get the unjustified shooting of both You're not in the mic, them, though. You're not in the mic. Oh, the unjustified shooting death of both of them, Gene. Oh. Well, as soon as I got in the mic, my internet froze. So <laughs> I guess it wasn't for me to read. But the point is, um, I I think I'm all for empathy and for changing. But we do have to realize that that does not always go both ways. Is she still going to jail? She's still going to jail, but she only is going to do five years. Say who? I thought it was ten. Ten, but she's but she can do five. You know, she she could do serve. five, she's but that's how black 100%. people get that too. She's not going to serve. Black people who go to jail who are, are going to do 10 years get, get that option also, right? No, but no, no, no. Murder. People people do much much more nonviolent crimes and they cannot get in that That's much That's not what time. I'm saying. That's not what I said. What I said was people... If, they give, if they're given a sentence, then you, there's a possibility they can get out with half of that. Right. However, right. usually for murder, you're usually. not given 10 years. Okay, how many are you given? A lot more. How many? You know what? Good question. Let me take, let me take a look. You're not in the mic, though. Me, we are still on the show. He's going to get mean, us yeah, for not I'm being in the to, mic. Uh, let me see. Average murder rate. Where are they at? Texas? Yes. Um, Texas. Sentencing? In Texas. This is a state's thing, so. What is the average murder sentence? Dear Siri. And it's, it. I mean, that's even going to be hard to, to do because it's different types of murder. So there could be. However, it's it's deemed first degree murder is, says death penalty or life imprisonment without parole. Second degree murder uh, by an inmate, even escape serving in life, sends life imprisonment without parole. That's the first thing that comes up. What's the average? No, I see between five and ninety nine years. <laughs> it says here between five and ninety nine years, and no more than a ten thousand dollar fine. That was on the books in here, uh, according to this. This is uh, statelaws.com. But, you, but are, so you're, are you suggesting, be honest, that 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 
those sentences are not often governed by race? Could be. Could be? Could be. Okay. I'm not saying that That's it's so not. That's so naive, though. I'm not saying that it's not. That's so naive. Like, there's... You, there's no evidence to. There's nothing that you I mean. There are white people get say, ninety-nine. Yeah. There are white people get ninety-nine years. And but when you they're look more at, likely. It's more. I but get even it. Even when but, you go, but even when you even when you're in class and you take a criminal justice class, it, mm-hmm. it's very. The statistics are 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 glaringly obvious. Right. That brown people get longer sentences and more harsher sentences. True. Because of the color of their skin. Based on statistics, that is the case. Yes. Okay. That's all I'm saying. So. Yeah. You know, I I I think that. If his family was able to forgive her, that to me is beautiful, right? Mm. I, I, I think that's a beautiful thing if you're able My to do that. My family better not do that. Yeah, that's fucking ridiculous. Nah, but, I, but, but well, nah. forgiveness, forgiveness is a is a is an it amazing thing. It better be thing. some smoke. Yeah, <laughs> <If, laughs> all out brawl. Nah. They gotta have to lock some more people up. I'm just saying, if it came from a, if it came from a heartful, if it came from a true place of of love and forgiveness for someone that had taken something from them. Then I think that's admirable. If it comes from the fact that there's that there's other things attached to it that often people of color a lot more just we don't maybe value ourselves as much. Nah, because I don't think matter of fact, because I, I, I saw a meme out there that, that said something to the effect of black people are more forgiving of a murderer than they are their gay brother. Wow. That's ridiculous. Whatever. Hey, hey man, that's ridiculous. I'm, give me a I'm break. Sorry, I'd, I'd rather if if that's the empathy that I have to give, I would rather give it to the gay person than the murderer. I'm well, sorry. Of course. What are you talking about? Of, I don't think there's a certain amount of empathy. I think there's enough for everybody. But I just I don't know. It's just it's just heartbreaking to see. And then for that man, for that witness to be killed mercilessly. I hope that whoever kills him gets a get. You know. Do you think that it's absolutely related? I believe so. I mean, what else could happen? I don't know. Niggas die every day, B. I mean, we know what it is, though, man. We do? But you know what? And that's why that's why a lot of people have... I don't know if you've seen this recently in, in social media, uh, but some people are, instead of saying that Atlanta is full, they're saying, we not full. If you're black or brown, you need to come to this city and you need to participate in black excellence and do great things and start Who your own businesses and so full. on and so forth. It's no, full. no, they Who saying, said that? they're Who saying in Atlanta, uh, uh, Isaac Hayes the uh, third said that. And I saw a few other celebrities were around Atlanta were saying that on their social media that, hey, we are not they, full. Are they having come to here deal with this traffic? Be prosper. Uh, well, that's I don't I don't agree with that. We are full. In fact, I'm trying to get out of here. <laughs> Maybe I'll make room for someone else. Yeah, it's too know. many people here. I don't know. I agree. Come come to Atlanta. Come to Atlanta. And that's going to change everything. They well, say, no, well, it's, Tyler it's Perry, already changed. Tyler Perry just has uh, opened his studio. But I don't think the answer is. And I'm not. I'm just kidding. It's, I don't know if it's full or not. But <laughs> I, I, I'm not. I'm just kidding about that. But what I am saying the answer is not everybody come to Atlanta. The answer is what Tyler Perry showed, and I'm extremely inspired by that. As you would have to be. You know, anyone, anyone. I think looking at his story would have to be. The answer is to make that type of change in your community, not to. Get up and move to Atlanta. You can get up and move here, and and there be no change. There's no secret savior that's going to help you here I in Atlanta. I disagree. I disagree. Atlanta is very different than the rest of the country. I don't when think it comes so. to when it comes to money, when it comes to just money, period. Atlanta is one of the cities that it doesn't cost as much as some of the other big cities to live. It's definitely but, changing. But there's the cost of living is true. definitely changing. It is. But there's money here, like those other places. You know, I, and 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 then for the fact that Atlanta being so brown. That money's in brown hands. It, yeah, it's a it's a different type of nation state. If you really want to be for real, like I, I think the potential. Of course, it's going to be traffic, and it's going to. But there's traffic in L.A. There's traffic in New York. There's traffic in Chicago. There's traffic everywhere. So right? fix the transit system. Fix the roads. Don't don't close more people out. Right. The more black people here, the better. If you ask me. Let me be for real. It's 2020, man. We were supposed to have flying cars anyway. So whatever we supposed to do to be getting it together, then let's just go and do it. Yeah, Elroy. Yeah, I want flying cars. Rut row. <laughs> <laughs> what? Nothing. You're right. Hey. Flying cars. You heard it here first. You heard That's it. That's what's 2020, man. That's what we're doing. Where's the GD flying cars? Flying cars. <laughs> come on, come on. I agree with Kevin, though. Come to Atlanta. Um... I think you're gonna you're gonna be shocked. It's a culture shock to see how black people live in Atlanta compared to now. We do have some messed up areas as well, but just the amount of black people with money here is not it's not like anywhere else in the in the country. I will say when you when you're from somewhere else and you come here and you see black people on on seventy five or, or eighty five and they're driving Bentleys 
and and Rolls Royces, you don't see that in other areas of the country. You really don't. I'm I'm trying to say that just uh, having a BMW 300 or 500 is like the the uniform for black people in Atlanta. It is. I mean, yes, there are some, like that C300 Benz. It, it's that's the uniform. The black one. People <laughs> people have people have money in Atlanta. Yeah, they're riding around in in luxury cars. And let's ev- don't let's don't assume that because you have a Benz or a BMW. You have money, but fair enough. Fair okay. enough. Fair but you could have went and got a Chevy and Nova. That might have been a better choice. May have been, may have been. Mm-hmm. But something, something in your life lined up for you, and you ended up getting a Benz or a Beamer. Uh, and but there's a there's a lot uh, of black, there's a lot of black and brown people in in Atlanta area that are working together and 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 doing well. Everybody so, with a Benz know, ain't, ain't and, lying. And, right. Come come be a part of that. I That's agree. what they're saying. So, okay, I I was I, I driving down one sixty six. I saw the Tyler Perry sign. I think that's really cool. Yeah, it's it's just, it is extreme. Two hundred fifty million dollars studio, the, the only one of its kind that is that is owned operated by us, and it's, it is it is amazing. It is an inspirational story for everybody. I'm just I'm, really sad that I again missed an opportunity to meet Mr. Denzel Washington. So that guy, I I'm willing. I'm willing to put my dislike for Medea to the side to celebrate Tyler Perry's studios and the entire movement. I'll just say it ain't happening in my hometown. Is where it's not happening. I of mean, of course, and we'll in never, Dayton, Ohio, never we just had uh, clan meetings. Okay. Mm. Okay. Okay. It never will happen in Dayton. Sorry, man, but you know you're here now. <laughs> Maybe Dave Chappelle will will start a studio. Nope. I doubt it. Somewhere. He doesn't seem like that's what he wants to do. He could if he he'll do whatever he wishes. But. Eh, I don't think I think Tyler Perry's a special dude, and I think we don't yeah, give him is. enough credit I agree. for the, mm-hmm. the 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 he like Dave Chappelle does a few things really really well. Tyler Perry seems to do everything well because he's made all the points match up. You know what I'm saying? I know that he had help. Don't don't think for a second yeah. he did it by himself. But mm-hmm. he was able and to it put wasn't all an that overnight thing. Yeah, he was able to put all that together in a way that no one has ever done before. And that's the first person I've heard do that since what Oprah. That's the only other person, only other black-owned studio I know of. Yeah, I can, I can say like, that hers is not like that. Yeah, I can say he's surpassed her. Yeah, he's, wow. his, hers is not like that. Yeah, wow. It's, it, I, it, 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 you gotta gotta take hats off to him, and I think that it's going to it's it's amazing how if you look back at a few years ago with the Oscars and there were not um, black actors and actresses nominated, and people were complaining about the the um, lack of roles and opportunities for minorities in film. I love Tyler Perry's speech that he gave at BET this past summer where he said, while they were arguing about having a place at the table, I was building my own. And I think that's something that we can all learn from. I was talking to a young woman today and she was saying, she was complaining about, you know, the entertainment industry. A lot of people don't put everybody else on. I said, you know what? One thing I've learned from this business is that no one owes me anything. I have the ability to, to create my own reality. And I think we all do. You cannot sit and wait for someone else to give you a seat at the table. I ain't waiting on the guy that wants the light skin, curly hair girl. I'm going to find a guy that wants me. Go go find your own. Go build your own. Or go find you a guy and don't even wait on him to kick it to you. Boom, boom, boom. It's 2020, man. G- gender is a construct. <laughs> go ahead and grab you somebody. You don't got to you don't gotta say it's a man or a woman, just somebody. Ain't nothing wrong with a little trib. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing wrong with a little trio. Uh. Like, <laughs> share, and subscribe. Please don't hold today against us, guys. Uh, I know today was a, touched on a lot of points. I feel like we are we really just lived up to our our former stereotype today. I mean, we really just probably so. offended more people than than we planned. But it's, it's made all you the, think. Yeah, that, that you think you I bet. offended ugly people today? There's a lot of people that could have been offended from today. Mm-hmm. Again, like, share, and subscribe. Music Club Life.